The Act Games Legends Pinball is the world's first connected pinball, providing an incredible simulation of arcade pinball play from the comfort of your home. Let's get started. Hey guys, we're going to take a look at the At Games Legends Pinball for the first time here on the Tech Buzz. And today, I really want to focus on a lot of the cool features. You can see the legs are really molded from a high-end aluminum that has been powder coated to give it that chrome but gray look. I think it really stands out really nice. And not to mention, At Games put a really nice feature on the feet that gives you the ability to adjust the level if you want it up to two inches higher you can do so with these feet and they're very sturdy and they work really really well and I haven't had any problems with it underneath the cabinet you can see the power switch don't mind my LEDs that's a custom touch that I added to give it a green glow but it's easy to access you'll also notice that at games put two reinforcement bolts that are recessed inside of the cabinet and they work really nice to hold the cabinet level and nice. At Games also went the horizontal route when it came to the buttons. The red button being the flipper button, the white button being the nudge. These buttons are what you've come to expect from At Games. They feel really good, not too mushy. You can also change which button does what inside the settings of the pinball machine. On the front, you'll notice that there's a rewind button just like the Legends Ultimate. There's also a nudge up button. Also, you can see there is a start button that looks like that play button. The menu button with the At Games logo. The faux coin door, which really gives this a high-end professional look. And you'll see they also have the Legends Pinball logo along with a lock and also your change door down below. This really adds a nice professional high-end touch to it. Let's take a look at the plunger. The plunger has a really high-end feel to it. You'll notice the copper look to the plunger with the red tip and the red knob on it. Works really well. Pulling it out, you'll see here, pull it out, the spring looks and feels just like an actual pinball machine. Now, what can I say about this artwork? At Games, for the past, couldn't really say much about their artwork on their cabinets. Let's just be honest, it was downright awful. This cabinet, however, I really like the artwork. It pays homage to all the Gottlieb tables that are on this cabinet. Like them or love them, this cabinet looks sweet. Now, the Legends control panel, you'll see the di directional pad there. That allows you to move around inside the menu. And let's talk about sizing. We've got 19 inches across from the lockdown bar, and then we also have 36 inches in length from the back box all the way back to the front of the table. We also have from the base of the leg all the way to the front of the table, we're sitting right at 33 inches to the lockdown bar. And then from the back leg all the way to the top of the back box, we're sitting just a little smidge over 60 inches. Now, the playing field is very vibrant. The screen looks awesome and gives it that depth with it recessed about two inches below the glass surface. You can see the depth in the video. Now, at the top, you have your HDMI if you want to do the uh, external monitor or you want to do OTG when it's released you have two high-powered USB ports 3 and 2 you also have a channel selector to select between the HDMI and the built-in display which is pretty cool especially when you start adding other steam type games to it you also have your volume up and down rockers which work really well and are easily in reach this was one of my favorite things that At Games changed was the rails. If you saw earlier prototypes, you saw that they were that same color as the legs. Now they're powder coated and they go the full length of the machine, giving it that 
real high-end quality touch that this machine really needed. Now, let's take a look at the speakers. The speakers are about three inch in diameter, the At Games logo in the middle, but they sound really good. Back box, 15.6 inch LCD display. My only issue with this display, besides it looking really good as you can see, is the scores are really small. One of the requests I made for At Games is to make those scores bigger and give us four players. Currently, you can only serve two players on the machine. Let's look at the back box in full. My only critique with this back box is there's too much branding. My goodness. Oh, is that my 3D printed At Games logo? Let's take a look at some gameplay. Some of the things that I thought I'd show you guys here a little bit is playing the game really gives you the feel with the haptic feedback, lets you know that you're playing a pinball table. You feel the ball knocking, you feel the flippers rocking, and you know, when you have to give it that nudge, you can also, using the accelerometer, you can nudge the table left or right or forward to really give it that pinball feel. And at 60 frames per second, 1080p, in my opinion, this is well worth it. And for those of you that have kids, and you're not sure if they're able to reach it, you can see my son here, he's playing it, uh, flipping the flippers, easy to reach, his hands, he's eight years old, he's able to play it, no problem, being able to reach the table, being able to see the table, works great for those kids, and uh, I think it's something that the whole family can enjoy, as we do that quite often here on our game nights. Now the menu is pretty awesome, it gives you the ability to see what the buttons do by going into certain menu items. You can see what each button will do, what each function will do. Uh, I think Act Games really hit the nail on the head when it came to instructions. You can also see inside the table menu, if you're familiar with any Act Games product, you'll be able to see how they do the tiling and uh, the buttons at the bottom tell you what does what. And also, there's some table override settings. Now, these settings are great when you want to ex when you want to set the volumes, the haptic feedback, the accelerometer, um, calibrating it because you might nudge it a little bit harder than me. So this really gives you the look and the feel of the real pinball table. And if you don't like the accelerometer, you can disable it if you so choose. But all in all. There's a lot of functionality, there's a lot of sensitivity, there's a lot of things that you can customize to make this fit you. Also included are 22 built-in titles from Gottlieb. Let me tell you, you might think that they're old, but a lot of these games, honestly, are a whole lot of fun. I recommend anybody checking these out. If you've played other tables before, you know that these are a lot of fun. And it's really awesome to be able to compete online. As you can see the trophies behind there, At Games did a wonderful job of getting the leaderboard set up and giving you the ability to play online and show what you can do in pinball. Now this is only page one, so at check out page two. So even still, even with OTG on the way, it still gives you the ability to do a, a, a mess of stuff. You can go to the arcade net if you're signed up for it and play any of the games. I have no intention of doing that because, well, I want it to be a pinball table. You can connect to your computer, do Cloud BYOG, add-on, add-on X. You've got your Wi-Fi settings. You've got, uh, your, you could sign into the table, obviously, your parental controls. If you're worried about the kids getting into things that really they shouldn't. Wireless pairing, account settings, your updater, your device info. I mean, this has everything if you're familiar with the at game settings. So let's take a look here at the uh, one of the other pages. You also have the upload lo uh, system log, uh, system lock, live streaming. You can live stream from your pinball table. How cool is that? You could even do voice chat. It's just not there yet, but it's coming. The back of the box has the lock. It comes with a key that you can unlock the top and the bottom to make it real, really clean for hiding those wires or those extra components if you decide to put a PC in there. And also the power and ethernet. You can see right here in the picture along with my underglow. All right guys, so my final thoughts on the Legends Pinball is so far so good. This is probably the best pinball that I've played in a consumer virtual pinball 
uh, arena. Now I do have the Toy Shock and I can't compare it to Arcade 1UP because I don't own an Arcade 1UP pinball table. But right now with the 22 built-in tables and the soon to have Zakaria pinball tables that are coming later this year, this all around is a really good machine. Once they implement OTG and being able to hook it up to your PC, that's going to open up a lot of options when playing pinball on this. Now, some of you guys may want to play uh, vertical video games like Galaga. I have no interest in doing that. I know Doug talked about that on his video. I just want to keep it for pinball. So there's a lot of things coming. I know I'm super excited about what At Games is going to bring to the table with this pinball table. It's just a matter of time. And for the short amount of time it's been out from the redesign of the black rails that we have here, um, I mean, they have really been listening to the uh, community, and so I'm really excited. Rescue 911 is one of my favorite tables on here. In the beginning, when I first got it, I did see some flipper uh, issues on the left flipper. At Games fixed that with a firmware update. So there's constantly updates that are going out, and the community and the early adopters and some of the consumers that have picked this up and, and managed to get it early, we're going through it with a fine tooth comb trying to find these issues, reporting them to At Games, so that way when Wave 2 and 3 come out, you guys are all set and you can play some pinball. But honestly, right now, as it sits, it's fantastic. The haptic feedback, I think it's just enough. It could probably be bumped up just a little bit. Uh, before I had my back box, it was really, really pronounced. And now that the I've got the audio, I think it could be bumped up a little bit more. Uh, so. Uh, that's some of my feedback for at games, but overall the experience people can't put this down People have been playing this every time they come over on Saturday nights for game night And you'll see that in a future video and my kids we play this We've got a lot of high scores on here In fact, my daughter has one of the highest scores on this table right now at 659 million points So you guys out there she only played it three times and she got that score so keep that in mind but overall, the experience, 32 inch, I think, is ideal for this table. Uh, 24 inch, you can see by the Toy Shock, ah, it's, it's hard to play. So it remains to be seen by what arcade on one up playability compared to the At Games, but that'll be in a future video. But overall, if you're on the fence, $600 or $599 out the door, great pinball experience, great pinball table. It's 1080p, 60 frames a second. I think you guys should check it out. For more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the Tech Buzz and like, comment, share, do all that good stuff. And until next time, guys, keep it buzzing.